Albert Einstein once said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. While some people question whether the quote was in fact from Einstein, the power of compound interest is unquestionable. So what is the power of compounding? The power of compounding can be compared to the snowball effect where you can see a small ball of snow growing larger as it rolls down the slope. In the same way, compounding helps in increasing your savings by accumulating more and more returns on the interest earned on your principal investment. The most exciting effect of compounding is that it essentially earns interest on interest. Thus, it creates a chain reaction by generating returns on the returns. And this chain reaction is what helps us achieve our retirement goals. In the figure on your screen, you will notice that as the years go by, the actual money invested, which is highlighted in blue, reduces in proportion to the total investment because the returns or interest generated, which is highlighted in orange, occupy a major part of the total investment and this is solely due to compounding. Hi, I am Pratap Narula, investment consultant and educator and if you like my video, please put in your likes and subscribe to my channel. Also, please ring that bell because if you are watching this video, I am sure you would want to learn a lot more about mutual funds and other associated topics, which is what I shall be talking about. Now let us look at the compounding formula and its components. This formula contains four different components. A is the final amount after completion of investment of the desired number of years. P is the principal or the original amount invested. R is the rate of interest offered by the investment per year. And finally, N is the number of years for which the money is invested. Now, let's look at an example where the investment amount is 1 lakh, the interest rate is 12% compounded annually, and the time period is 20 years. This value can actually be calculated in various ways. Firstly, of course, using the compound interest formula, but it can also be calculated with entries in Excel or using the future value function again in Excel. The first table shows how the interest generated every year is added to the principal leading to a final value of 9.64 lakhs. Using the future value function is a much easier way to get to that value by just inputting the initial details. Before we move further, let's look at the difference between simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest is calculated on the principal or original amount of investment made and compound interest is calculated on the principal amount and the accumulated interest of previous periods and thus can be regarded as interest on interest. To understand, let us look at an example where two friends, Ram and Sham, both invest Rs 10 lakhs for 30 years at 10% compounded annually. However, while Ram opts for withdrawing the interest earned every year to help him meet his expenses, Sham opts to reinvest this interest so that he can avail the benefits of compounding. Now on completion of the term, Ram gets back 10 lakhs which is the original principal amount plus 30 lakhs of interest that he has withdrawn. Whereas Sham receives a total of 1.58 crores. This highlights the magic of compounding on a small principal like 10 lakhs. Now let's move on to the guidelines of how to optimize the benefits of compounding. A very important rule which is frequently ignored is making an early start to your investments. As with all good things in life, you must start early with your investments to make the most out of the power of compounding. The key rule of making it big is to start investing as early as possible. The recommended time to begin your investment journey is the day you receive your first paycheck. And if you have not started investing yet, start now. Postponing savings can make it difficult for you to reach your destination. Let us look at another example to highlight this point. On the screen, you see two different scenarios. In both scenarios, the total amount invested is 30 lakhs and the rate of interest in both cases is 12% compounded annually. However, in scenario 1, an amount of 1 lakh is invested every year from the age of 21, whereas in scenario 2, an amount of 2 lakhs 
is invested every year but it starts at the age of 36. Now if we compare the amount at the age of 50, scenario 1 generates a final corpus of 2.7 crores versus 83.5 lakhs in scenario 2. This results in an astonishing difference of more than 223%. So you should aim to start investing as early as possible to optimize the magic of compounding. Next we come to rule number 2 which is be disciplined. Investing regularly at the start of your investment journey can ensure discipline. When you regularly invest month after month, you not only increase your savings but also develop investment discipline. This is a vital habit if you wish to achieve financial success. To create a robust and thriving investment portfolio, you must first define your priorities and be disciplined about your investments. Regardless of how little you earn, knowing what your priority is and understanding how being disciplined now will pay off later will help you develop the habit of keeping money aside for investing. In the following example, we start investing at the age of 20 with a monthly SIP of just Rs 500. The assumed rate of interest is 12% compounded at 1% per month. The plan is to increase just Rs 500 per month every year. That is, from the second year, the SIP would be 1000 rupees per month and in the third year, it would be 1500 rupees per month and so on. That way, the SIP in the final or 30th year would come to 30 multiplied by 500 which is equal to 15,000 rupees per month. The total investment in such a plan comes to 27,90,000 over a period of 30 years and the maturity amount at the end of the term comes to 1.42 crores. Patience is the key. This is the most important ingredient of wealth creation. A lot of us wish for quick returns and end up making hasty investment decisions in a moment of panic that could result in big losses. What we do not realize is that it is the long-term investments that majorly benefit from the concept of compounding. The power of compounding magnifies over time but it is felt and seen only if investments are allowed to grow at their own pace. It may seem that investments are not growing but after years of dedicated and disciplined investment you may be surprised to see what compounding does to your portfolio. The longer you remain invested without making withdrawals from your returns, you allow your money to grow further because the power of compounding increases exponentially over time. Now we come to the last rule which is go for shorter intervals of compounding to have a greater impact. Another aspect of the power of compounding is the interval or frequency at which the interest multiplies. Different investment options in India offer a variety of compounding frequencies such as on a daily, monthly, quarterly, biannually or annual basis. The shorter the interval of compounding, the more significant impact there is on your investments. In a nutshell, when you increase the frequency of reinvesting or compounding, you see a more significant difference in your returns. To explain this, we look at an example where a sum of rupees 1 lakh is invested at 12% but with different compounding intervals. Here you can clearly see the difference in the final amount and it is clear that as the compounding periods increase, the eventual return also gets better. Coming to the conclusion, the benefits of the power of compounding are immense. You can quickly maximize your savings and investments to support your long-term goals financially. All you have to do is make an early start and be patient with your investments so that you do not hinder their growth potential. Instead, you must remain invested for an extended period to fully leverage the power of compounding. But if you ignore the above guidelines and don't take advantage of the magic of compounding, you will indirectly end up paying by letting go of this opportunity. So in case you haven't started investing, it's time you did right away.